So I'm going to start off with something that I'm more familiar with, and then we're going to escalate into something that's more risky. I think the worst one has to be the root beer, so because I hate root beer, so I'm going to save it for last. Um, the best part about the ginger ale is that if you put it up close into a light, I want you guys to see this. I can see it really clearly, but I'm not sure if the camera can see it. You can see the ginger dust. It's incredible. I've had so much Canada Dry for the past year. I love Bundaberg. The reason why I like Bundaberg more than Canada Dry is because the ginger is way stronger. Canada Dry is more consistent, consistently bland, traditionally brewed to a genuine old recipe to release the natural flavors of ginger, which it does incredibly well. It's definitely overpriced compared to other sodas, but Bundaberg is worth it. I promise you. So yeah, that's it for me today. I'm going to try out some more tomorrow. Peace out. It's currently 11 a.m. I just woke up two hours ago and I didn't wake up properly. Berg apple cider is brewed over two days to extract maximum crisp flavor notes. It's apple cider the way it should be. Holy shit. There you go. Take a good look. Holy shit. It's, it really has that yeast after effect because this is not beer. Neither was a ginger ale. But it had a very strong beer aftertaste, but it doesn't have any alcohol. It's really just the yeast that makes it taste more, I don't have the words for it, um, pungent maybe. I'll, cu I'll cut it out if I'm wrong. I still think I put ginger ale above it though. I'm more, I'm more impressed by the ginger flavor. I drank a lot of soda today uh, because I just tried to relax today. My foot has hurt so bad and the typhoon is here. So I just had nothing to do other than eat and drink and watch friends. So because there's no yeast, I expect it to be a very different flavor. Oh no, there is yeast. This is my first skeptical drink so far. Okay, hang on. So it's out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Jeez. Mm-hmm. 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 Smells like medicine. Smells like Chinese medicine. I smell a lot of cinnamon. Maybe some turmeric. I don't know why I smell turmeric. I don't smell the lemons. I don't smell the lemons nor the limes. Okay, I'm gonna pucker up my lips. Holy shit. It was a good choice to pucker up my lips. You know how when you uh, drink something or taste something, you have like a flavor coming out of your nose? Or when you exhale? It's all cinnamon. But there's a very strong flavor that I can't recognize. I know it's there, I just can't recognize what that is. It doesn't bother me. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get more of the flavor from the nose. Oh. It's like, it tastes like medicine. I've been recording for about 12 minutes now. I'm going to move on to the next one. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. This is relatively good, actually. But unfortunately, it says peach juice is only 5%. Okay. Okay, thank God. I thought I, I, thought I botched that one. Mm, way more pleasant. Yeah, this one is a lot less sketch than lemon and lime bitters. I feel like the reason why it's sketchy for me, like the last one, is because I've never had bitter brew. But this one is amazing. This one smells simple. It's simple. It's peach juice in a summer day all year round. That's all I can say about the, the, the smell. Hmm, okay. First off, extremely disappointed. The peach flavor, as expected because it's 5% juice, is not very strong. I get more of a, of a, of a carbonated water feeling and I don't, uh, hmm. You get a little bit of the peach when you, in the aftertaste, but it's not, it's not as good as the other ones. Wow, that is very disappointing. 
it's not bad. Like this is this is this is good. It's just more refreshing than the other ones, which is not something I wanted to drink right now. I am fairly refreshed, so I don't really want this. If I have to rate it in my favorite Bundaberg drinks, I'll have to put it last because this has none of the Bundaberg like um personality. The other drinks are experiences. This one is more of a soft drink. I would I would rather much get a Coke than this one. It is I'm horrified. I hate root beer. I hate 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 root beer. It's so disgusting. It tastes like toothpaste. Um but let's see if I'm going to change my mind in the next drink. So, I'll see you guys later. Okay, I'm not going to smell it. Oh, that's root beer. Oh fuck off. Oh. Oh. This is the last Bundaberg drink. Don't get me wrong, the flavor is still there, but it's not as overwhelming. The, s the smell, let's say the smell power is around 6 then the taste flavor is also around six. If I swallow this, like, directly, it tastes like Coke. I already feel very full from drinking this, and we've only reached, like, this part. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's black. If you didn't tell me what this was, it smells like... It, it looks like Coke, but it smells like root beer. I'll give this to my aunt to finish. I've looked around everywhere to buy a ginger ale Schweppers, which I had in Malaysia, but I couldn't find anything. And the closest thing that could reach the Schweppers ginger ale is Bundaberg. I don't think, if you have any other ginger ale like brands that I can try, leave it down in the comments because I love ginger ale. If you guys do like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later.